Did Blackjack, Mulligan, and Bob Roop ever fight? Yeah. One punch. Mulligan was a one punch guy. He had hands like a, a catcher's mitt. He knocked Roop out with one punch. Now, Bob Roop has told me that he didn't really enjoy roughing up the, uh, the marks that would want to become wrestlers. And in recent years, actually, I think last year, a videotape came out. I don't know if you've seen this. Yes, I have. Uh, the name of it isn't exactly coming to me, but Ronnie isn't Garvin. It, isn't it the B? Plan B, Plan B, B yeah. yeah. Were you shocked at seeing that as I was? Absolutely, but it was directed at one guy. Do you remember they talked about homosexuality and, and pro wrestling? Yeah. That was directed at Jim Barnett, because Barnett was gonna buy Knoxville, and they met with Barnett and bought, and and he paid the money to get Knoxville and for them to disappear. I don't understand why they did that. I mean, we all make mistakes, but the thing is, Ronald Fuller paid as well as anybody I've ever worked for. And in the summertime, almost everybody in the territory had about because the pay differential wasn't that big. It was a small group of guys. So if you if you made twelve hundred dollars in the main event, the semifinal made nine, the opening match would make six fifty. So guys were getting paid because Ronald was running a bunch of spot towns around the lake for the guys to enjoy their life. Knoxville was selling out, now Ronald was probably make a little bit more money in, in uh, Knoxville, but on those spot shows, sometimes he's paying 50% of the gate. The usual thing is 33 and a third of the net. Ronald was paying on the gross. So uh, for them, and those guys walked out and they exposed the business so bad. And the, so you gotta look at who, who the guys were. Bob Roop, and then you had- Great Malenko. Great Malenko. Bob Horton, and Bob Ronnie Garvin. And Ronnie Garvin, and Ronnie really, you know, people thought Ronnie was really big, but people, I, and I'm just surmising here. People say, why would they do that? because their territory was failing. Both of them had taken a big hit, but Barnett was starting to send guys into Knoxville, like Mark Lewin, uh, Frankie Kane, uh, uh, Tommy Rich, Atlas, so it started to come up. So I think they tried to do a power play to make money. And obviously they made some money, you think Barnett saw that video? Yeah, and, absolutely. Yeah, yeah cuz I think the guy out of that that crew that it would have hurt the most would have been Bob Orton. Oh, yeah, I think it hurt Bob. I think that that hurt Bob forever. Yeah, it would have possibly killed his WWE career. Yeah, and and you know, there would all, have been heat. I was actually mad watching that. Right. Even in this day, just because not I know it's exposed today, but just knowing all the guys back then and knowing how it would have hurt everyone's paycheck. Yeah, it, it, they didn't care about people's families, which really threw me off. And if you look at it, a few of them had tried to steal territories before. You know, so. I, I, for them to do that, but again, that wasn't put out. That was sent to somebody to take a look at it and saying, you know, you're going to be exposed. And, uh, you know, Jim had been exposed in a book about the Kentucky football team uh, with Rock Hudson. And that's why Jim actually went to Australia.